to the side and leaving more room in your frame so that you can put in your bullet points, your text, other graphics that you may want to, and how you can then interact with those and, and give them and produce a much more interesting video. Well, today I'm going to continue on with that because there's another big thing that you will see all the time in professional video production, and that is adding B-roll. And what B-roll is, is other footage, it can also be graphics, images, that illustrate what the person on camera is talking about. For the best example I can think of is newscasters. When they start to tell a story, then it cuts away to the story, it cuts away to the footage of what's happening with that news. Otherwise, you get it's just a talking head telling you the news. I mean, you might as well read the newspaper. So, you can do this very easily to your videos. You're not stuck with just doing a big full frame footage either. You can actually put a picture within a picture, put two pieces of footage together, or four. That's what I like to do, especially when I need to tell something, get across to the viewer something very quickly, and I need to be concise. You can see an example of that right here that we did with our second video where I needed to show the key points that I was going to talk about quickly. So I took footage that probably would have taken about 40 seconds. Since I put the four videos together, I got it down to 10 seconds. The other nice thing I like about the world is it can cover mistakes. Say, for example, you have a break in your narration, which is what I just did, actually. I could cover that with the real. It's very nice. And you know what? It also makes your video a lot more interesting. And that's the whole point. You want your video to be interesting and to be engaging and to be entertaining, as well as educational, because you want the person to watch it, don't you? And you don't really want them to watch it. You want them to share it. I mean, that's the whole reason you're shooting these videos and putting them up on YouTube. So I have one more little thing that I want to share with you, and I'm going to be sharing that in my next video. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, sign up for my email list up here on howtosetyourvideos.com, or if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and you'll be notified when the next video is up. Thank you. From Kim at howtosetyourvideos.com. Thank you.